Hey, what's up everyone? Hunter here. In today's video, I will be going over how to create your first product listing on Amazon. Now, before we get started, there will be a few things that you need. Um, you're going to need something called a GTIN, often called a UPC, which is just the product identifier code. You can get them from gs1us.org. The link's going to be below in the description. And the second thing you're going to need is uh, one product image with a clean white background. Um, just a quick tip, always list your product before you pay your supplier. You don't have to go in really into depth in your listing yet, but just get a general listing created. Um, the reasons you want to do this is because one is risk management. You're going to ensure yourself that you can sell this product with no restrictions. Um, two will be you're going to receive an ASIN um, from Amazon once the listing is created, which is basically the code used by Amazon to identify all the products. You're going to want to send that code to your supplier and have them put that on each of the products that you're sending in to Amazon. So now that we've gone over those few things, let's go ahead and get into the video. Once you've signed into your Amazon seller account, you're going to want to go to the top and hover over catalog and click add products. So now it'll take you to this page here and the next step will be scrolling down to click I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. So now it's going to take you to select a product type. This is just selecting the product uh, category that you'll be selling in. So for this, what you want to do is just type in the main keyword for your product. For this example, I'm just going to type in umbrella and click search. Now, as you can see, it's five matches, matching categories found. Um, you're just gonna wanna choose the best one you think fits your product. For this, I'm just gonna select the first option here. And then it's gonna take you to this page where you're gonna have to put in your product title, AKA the item name, your brand name, and the external product ID is the GTIN code that you had to purchase before creating your listing. So you're gonna to wanna to enter that in here and click on select and you're gonna select GTIN. Now for the, the product title, um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your top competitors that are selling your product and see what they're doing. You don't wanna copy them exactly word for word, but definitely you want to mimic them and get inspiration from them. For this, I'm just going to type in an example. Now, your product title will be longer than this. I'm just doing it as a placeholder. And then your brand name, whatever you want to name your brand. And then click continue. Now, for the next step, it's going to take you to this page. You're gonna, it's gonna ask you for the manufacturer name. You're gonna wanna put your same name used for your brand name into this box. And then you're gonna wanna go to the top and then click on offer. For the quantity, most of the time, this will just be one. And then you're gonna have to select your price. Uh, make sure you do your market research on the price and have a competitive price so you do get sales and rank. For this, I'm just gonna be ins inserting in an example. And uh, for the condition type, most of the time it's gonna be new. And for, for the fulfillment channel, you're gonna wanna click Amazon will ship and provide customer service, AKA fulfillment by Amazon. So once you've done that, the next step will be going to product details and clicking on that. So now that we're on the product details tab, it's gonna ask you for product description, bullet point, color, and part number. For the product description, it's just a paragraph form um, describing your product. For the bullet points, they're the key terms and variations that you want your customers to see about your product. Now, for both of these, currently I hire someone off of Fiverr that's an SEO expert um, to do these for me. It is really important to have a good product description and good bullet points, and it takes a lot of SEO 
um, on the back end to put into these to have a successful listing. So currently, again, I just go on Fiverr, type in um, Amazon product listing and hire someone that has good reviews off there to complete both of these for me. Again, they're very important in having a successful listing on Amazon, so that's why I outsource those. Um, if you want to do them yourself, you can. What I would do is go to your top competitors, see what their product description is, see what their bullet points are. Don't copy them word for word, but just kind of mimic them, get a general idea of what theirs is and what you need to put in yours. So once you do that, you just select the color of your product. And for the part number, you just reach out to your supplier and ask them for a part number. Um, just send them a message, they'll just send it to you and then you're gonna put that there. So that's pretty much all for the product details tab. Again, really take time, focus on these two. They're very important. Uh, I'll try to put a link in the description below to someone on Fiverr that I've used in the past. Um, so that way you'll at least have a general idea of who you can hire on Fiverr for this. Now next is the variations tab. So now we're on the variations tab. Um, this is just if you are going to have variations of your product, product such as color or size, you'll do that here. Most of the time when you're just starting out selling on Amazon, you're not going to have variations of the product. So for now, we're just gonna skip this step and then go over to safety and compliance. The safety and compliance tab is short and easy. Um, it's just is gonna ask you for your country dash region of origin, so where your product was manufactured. It's gonna ask if batteries are required and you can put yes or no. And for the dangerous good regulations, for this part, most of the time, you're just gonna put not applicable. Um, you definitely want to stay away from um, selling anything that's considered a dangerous good. It's just a lot of hassle and it's not really worth it. So I would definitely stick clear of any product that's put in that category. So that's basically all for this section. So now let's hit over to images. Now, once you get the images, this is where that one product photo with the clear white background is going to come into play. For right now, you're just going to put that one up. Now you will need more images, you can put up the eight. Um, what I would suggest doing is once you've got your product sample in, what I do is hire someone on Fiverr. You can also go on Upwork, um, but I hire from Fiverr and get someone that specializes in product photography to do my photos for me. They just come out looking a lot cleaner and better and having clean looking photos is really important as well to have a successful product listing on Amazon. So. Once again, just go to Fiverr, type in product photography, send your product into them and have them take the pictures for you. That way you can have clean looking product images. Um, the price varies. It, it depends on who you choose. So you'll just kind of have to do your own research for that. So once you've done that and got your one picture uploaded, we'll go over to the shipping tab. Now for this, you are going to need to be in contact with your supplier. You're going to have to ask them all these questions of so the item package length, the package width, the package height, and also the package weight. Um, they'll be able to give you all these details. Um, it's very self-explanatory. But once you've done that, you're just going to click save and finish. And then you've complete, successfully completed your first Amazon product listing. If anyone has any questions from today's video, please drop them in the comments below. Also, if anyone has any issues when creating their first listing, please reach out in the comments as well. I'll try to get those questions answered as soon as possible. Now, my next video will be the last of the three-part series, and I will be coming out with that sometime next week. It'll be on marketing um, using Amazon PPC ads and also off-site ads and how to bring in organic traffic to your product. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And if you enjoyed this video today, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when I post videos in the future.